plane. We got delayed. We didn't have access to our bags. And so I went into, I knew we had like eight hours in this airport in Europe. And so I went into the bathroom. I threw the garbage on the floor. I pulled out the trash bag. and turned it inside, put it on, so couldn't wait. I was running in the airport. And before you know it, there's people walking down, and there's like five guys pummeling in the airport. <laughs> and we, didn't, we didn't care. Like those guys at that level was like, okay. All right, it doesn't stop me from winning, right? Jordan Burrow's ankle was like, it wasn't like, oh man, it's like, okay, I got a broken ankle, so how can I win with this ankle? You just change your plan. The best ones can change your plan because the best ones wake up and say, the day's not gonna be perfect, you know? It just doesn't work that way. And so the great ones think differently. Now, he was talking about when you're walking outside, he was like, oh, I see a log I can lift, I can do this, I can do this. That's how you fit, right? You find opportunities to make yourself better. I never needed a weight ride, I just did calisthenics in the hallway. Like I, people would say, oh man, I gotta work out today. I'm like, work out right now. There's a lot of things you can do. Like, you have to have a weight room. You know, I mean, you can run up and down the steps here. Like, guys just gotta have a treadmill, they gotta have this, that. You know, I look for opportunities to always get better. So, what that leads me to is my team. I just got it, we're ranked 14th in the country right now. And I got there in 2010, it was a nightmare. It was one of the worst things I'd ever been involved in in terms of what we had to work with. And I got there, we had 26 guys on the team. Of the 26, eight of them would be on the wall with some kind of injury, and they weren't hurt, half of them. It was a mess, we had a culture problem. And so, you know, we sat down as a staff and we figured out what we needed to change. And we realized, man, the alumni aren't happy, we're not winning. And then when we sat down, we said, we're still three years away from fixing this thing. You know, and alumni didn't want to hear it, you know. They don't want to hear next year. And now we're like, hey, listen, the honest thing is it's three years away. Well, we're three years away, and it's, we actually kind of did it like two years. And now things have changed. Doesn't mean it's right, because we haven't been on that level long enough. But we've changed it. We've turned it around. But when I got there, I realized that I made a big jump in my, my coaching, that not everybody was like me. You know, I could say, okay, I don't have a treadmill, I'll just go run outside. Oh, well, our bags are delayed, I'll just grab a trash bag and put it on. You know, I'll tear it out of the garbage. I didn't care about diseases, anything. I just, I don't have to worry about making weight, you know? <laughs> and I had to realize that guys on my team weren't like that. 